Okay. What, what did you mean when you said you were an FBI informant at City Council? What did you mean by that? Are you denying you said it? I got it on camera, you know. I'm tired of coming to demonstrations against war. I want to come to a demonstration. I'm asking. Oh, yeah? He's running for sheriff. Yeah. I was asking, well, you know what What I was asking Nate is what he meant when he said he was an FBI informant. Yeah, I'm asking him. police informant thing. Oh, I don't inform the police of anything except for what the fuck to do. No, I think in the Occupy movement, you voiced a lot of people's opinions where we decided to be basically... Uh, Do you know Bill Nelson was the police there. liaison, and did you know that Bill Nelson was that Army Intelligence? There's a lot of secrets. So you knew and that. Again, we're so are you a Fed too? Just go along with. I mean, the if herd. somebody's joking about we're being a Fed, I would say a protest story. movement's not the place to joke around about being a Fed. We, everyone Absolutely knows right. that there's Why did you do it then? And then there's Why did you do it then? Why did you say that I'm an FBI informant you if you're not? The fact that and you want to represent saying, uh, a, uh, basically an oppressive, like racist, classist. Why? Why don't you? Why don't you address any questions? I address your questions. Okay, you what about Bill Nelson? Did you, you knew he was Army Intelligence, and you still you still think it's cool that that uh, that he was the police and, uh, liaison, and then you say positive. I'm the police liaison? That's a fucking lie. No, we basically and this guy, opinion that man, I'm getting all the feds on camera. Oh, yeah. Or at least the people who joke around about being a fed. It would be it would be pretty awesome. Chemical warfare. There is no government that is indulged. So why did you say that, Nate? Why did you say you were an FBI informant? You're really giving it to him, Chris. Why did you tell people you're an FBI informant if you're not an FBI informant? Do you have a YouTube channel? Because I'd really like to see these bloopers of you basically making a fool of yourself. Well, I'm not the one saying I'm an FBI informant in the middle of a protest movement and then not answering questions about why I did so. I think it was being sarcastic. Why would you uranium joke around about that? Uranium shells. Why would you run for sheriff? Yeah, why because why because I, I threaten people with weapons. Like, what do you mean? Well, you I don't know. know. Why would you ask me something I've never done? I don't even know who you are. We're indulging in chemical warfare. There is no question. Ask about white So, so no comment, Nate. And, and no comment with you. You just knew Bill Nelson was a police liaison and he was Army Intelligence. And then you accuse me of doing the same thing. No, I'm accusing you of basically voicing a whole movement into your own little voice and manipulating everything that you do. What do you even? You don't even know how money works. You don't even know how the banking system works. So. What do you have any association with, with Occupy Wall Street? I grew, like, I graduated with a 3.8 GPA, a fine arts diploma, and had a partial scholarship to get a visa. So you, it sounds like you're, a, you're well indoctrinated into the system. Yeah, I know how money works, though. I, I, mean, I know the institutions the that control the banks. You want to run for sure. I think you need to focus on the fact that you're representing an oppressive, a classist, a racist-ass fucking group of people. And that's just keep, yeah. Really? There's like a couple black people down here, and I'm talking about they, they, came with, they came with me. I'm talking about sheriffs. Oh, the whole system is corrupt. Oh, yeah. I think people usually prefer people of color or things of that nature. So it's not people of color. I'm of color and you're of color too. We're of different colors. We're all of different colors. You have lack of color and a lack of uh, culture. Okay. So again, you don't comprehend how things work, and you're an agent of the system, and you. I understand how white privilege works, and that's what you're trying to do. You're basically using white privilege to hope that you win as. I'm using human privilege of free will to do whatever I want. So there was a samurai warrior who found a monk who lived high on the top of a mountain. He came up there with his sword and he said, Monk, teach me about I just talked to him about, you know, about why he said it. He said he was being sarcastic. So he did say, and it was right in front of you, but that'll, that'll come out. Right. But yeah, I, would, I just advise people not to joke around about, you know, and say that they're FBI agents uh, in protest movements. It's, it's more than silly. Yeah.
I can't say enough how much I could leave. I get real suspicious whenever I see people hanging around with these folks uh, for more than a couple years. Yeah? Oh, yeah. Well, keep your eyes out, man. Nothing I have. Chemical warfare? Well, I mean, what do you think about that? The rotting body. I think that uh, we have more importance on our hands. More important things that's to talk a, about That's today. a talking point, I guess, hey. yeah. But, you know, this, this, you know, this is run by the feds, you know that. Phil Willato is certainly a fed. He's been, been doing the same thing in this town for 30 years. Things continue to get worse. You know, he's a Trotskyite Zionist. He was dropped into this town by the Workers' World Daily over 30 years ago. And a lot of people, I mean, the only old people you see around here are people documenting what he's doing or, uh, uh, like, they're, they're in on the operation. Yeah, I'll take that into consideration. I want to listen to what this guy has to say. Sure. All right, well, I'll take it into consideration that you're still out there. At the end of World War II. Anybody remember World War II? Hey, what's your actual name? Um, James Sheed Bakhtiari. Okay. Yeah. It's in the book, man. And what's, what's your interest in all this? Like, I mean, I, I noticed you came in. I just noticed you around when Occupy Richmond started, but I've never seen you before. And, and what's your association with Phil Willato? Uh, I'm a member of the Rafini Defenders for Freedom, Justice, and Equality. Interesting. Yeah. Well, you know about Phil and the Workers' World Daily. Are you a, are you a Trotskyite? Uh, I'm not a Trotskyite, personally. Are you a Marxist? Um, I do identify. Are any you a more Zionist? No. So you believe that the state of Israel should should not the, exist? I believe that the state of Israel is an occupation of Palestinian land. How about Zionism and the Zionist International Banking Cartel? I don't. I'm not educated enough on that to speak to it, so I'm not going mm. to. Yeah. Okay. That that's interesting. I would look into it because that's like how everything works. That's the operative thing. And yeah. and Phil, like whenever 9/11 is brought up or the Federal Reserve Bank or how things actually work, you know, Phil starts attacking people literally, physically. Like you saw that, right? Why would you be in a part of an organization that that operates like that? That makes you really sketchy looking. Uh, well, I guess I'm just a sketchy guy. I don't know. Okay. Well, thank you for uh, thank you for clearing things up at the end. Yep. All right. A small business or a similar size business, rather, or a government agency. Hey, Cat. Cat, why? I, under, I comprehend, like, you know, talking bad about me. I think that that's cool and fine and well within your rights. But why did you, why did you slander my dog in, in the hit piece you wrote on, the, on your blog? Why did you slander my dog? You slander your dog. I you said, you said, you said that, uh, that he had, that he had mange. My dog has it's never had mange. No, I, but he doesn't have mange. He's got some kind of hey, 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 Teddy, does Kinkers have mange? She wrote in a hit piece on me, she wrote a hit piece on me, and she insulted me, of course, which is, I mean, I'm used to that. But then she insulted Kinkers and said he was mangy. I insulted you for letting hey, him hey. mange. Right, but you, you saw Kinkers, what, yesterday? We went out delivering yard signs in, in parts of the city where you can't go into. And uh, um, and Keekers does not have mange. Yeah. I'll take that dog to a vet. Oh, okay. Well, I'll I'll videotape I'll videotape the dog when I get home, and then I'll videotape you and what you said. And again, Teddy and I were out delivering yard signs in parts of the city you can't go to. And you and your Zionist Trotskyite feds have been exposed. Don't like the government. And it's uncool to like slander a dog too. Okay, thanks. I appreciate it. Really does start with you. It's not something you can just wait for them to decide to get their conscience together and give you what you want. So not every war I've ever known four people of color were right on the front line. Let's see if sorry. Uh, I got a J-Sarge. Bring it here to your son. Okay. Um, as far as I know, because I've, I've kind of been like couch surfing for the past week, so I have been keeping up with the news, but as far as I know, um, and, and I mean, Howdy. honestly, like, you see all these older, nice people here, like, it really is hey, even Gonna be hey, them that has don't ever think you can get away with like touching me. You're not. It, it's you didn't. You're not gonna get away with it. And honestly, don't ever I mean, do it again. This isn't really more, much of a statement. It's more of a question. Like, what are we gonna do to get more people our age to you be heard. involved in stuff like this? I mean, 
I personally, I'm not always in contact. I was actually going to try. Finally, come here. Yeah. Yeah. But I mean, like, what's that thing you think to give people to be involved? Because as far as I know, like, my whole generation, not my whole generation, but a big part of my generation. I'm ready to go so we can get ready for the morning. Yeah. I'm with you. Have a good night, dude.